Alrighty guys, this time it's Sick Puppy 4x4, we're gonna go hit up one of our hardest tracks in the Denny Ute. But this track is winch only, so you know what that means. We gotta get a winch. We got our new winches. Yeah, bud. We got our cars. We're gonna pull out your driveway winch. <laughs> yes, yes. EFS has sent us a couple of these winches. I've got the 13,000 pound. Spud's got the 10,000 pound. Also, they've gone all out with us. They've given us a complete recovery kit. Winch blanket, winch extension strap, snatch strap, coiled D shackles, and tree trunk protector. Look at that. All comes in a nice compact bag. So we're gonna be ready as to hit this track. A little bit too ready, I think. Nice hat. What, this whole thing? Alrighty, so because I don't have a ball bar on this thing, I've gone and purchased a winch mounting plate and just mounted it to the chassis rail. So basically the winch is going to sit right there. Let's get into it, eh, Spud? Yeah, bud. Oh, that's my old winch, the old driveway one, and this is the new one. Fucking light has. Alrighty boys, we're here on the other side of the farm. We've got a brand new EFS winch. We're gonna test it out some good hills. We got our brand new bully liner and we're gonna test it out in some nice chonky apples and some trees, see how good it gets scratched. So this, this track's pretty hard. It's been about 12 months since I hit it and it gets to a point where you cannot drive anymore. You gotta pretty much winch your whole truck up the hill. So ready to hit the track? Let's go. My next favorite obstacle. Boys, we have arrived at the rock garden. There is an absolute mud slop on one side or rocky death on the other side. All right, it's fun. We'll go for a walk and see how it looks after 12 months of not being used. Let's go and have a look, my friend. What do you reckon, man? Well, we've got a friggin' winch. Why don't we go the other way? Just hit it. So this spot here is looking quite appealing. We usually go the other way because this part here is just impassable, but as Spud was saying before, it's been getting a lot of use. So they make it up to about the hill climb and then they turn around and come back. 
So we're gonna cheat, we're gonna get some mud on the tires and head this way. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. steering in that old thing I and mean, it's just slippery I get kept getting stuck on that rock I was trying to avoid the tree it's Spud's turn now no sorry it's Maddie's turn now Alright, so that's everyone through the easy part, and that was just a bit of mud. The hardest part is trying to get up this hill without doing any major damage. Well, if I had to describe the hill, I'd say it was steep, marble-like rocks that as soon as you drive on, they spit out. And then it gets to a point where you have two massive offset rocks, and you sort of got to straddle them. And any normal car with no lockers is going to struggle really bad. Alrighty, so we'll press on to the hill climb, and we'll see how many hours it takes to conquer this one. The midges are after me already, I'll tell you that much. Well, Let's I get some fucking mosquitoes, yeah. mate. <laughs> Alright, just having a look. And it seems like during all that rain, a big rock's fallen down onto the track. So that rock there is a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. So our original plan was to pull it out of the way. But I think we're just going to have to put up with it and drive around it. Yeah, so what I'm doing is just moving some rocks just to make the life a little bit easier. Come on. come up with is when we come up with another guys we're going to put some rocks here so we don't get stuck so I've connected the winch oh sorry Spud has connected the winch to the tree over there and we're going to pretty much pull myself up onto that rock and then get over and away we go without the winch this is literally as far as I would go I can't go backwards anymore and I cannot go forwards that's it, that's it, that's it. When it's winch, because we're winching on an angle here, what's happening is it's pulling the front of the car over, over this way, and it's dropping the back half back into there, and that's what we don't want. We want it, so I'm going to try and pull him straight up and over the top of the rock, and then hopefully it all goes good from there. Yeah, that's pretty much a dead pull. I had nothing. I had no drive at all. Winch held up real good. So yeah, we're just gonna wind in the winch and the rest of it should be piss easy. Away we go. Go from there and that way 
you can winch up slow. Spud made it to the first bit, but it's already clunking and we really don't want to do any damage right now. It's like the worst place to do damage to your car. No nav noises yet, and we don't want any. Rock the tub. <laughs> it's not straight anymore. Let's keep going. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'd done pretty good there, I didn't break anything. Full drive was working pretty good. The old nav, she's not as good as the old solid front axles, the IFS, they're pretty average. Last time we did this hill, the old driveway winch that I had in my front ball bar, mate, it just went bang. It was just no good. So, this winch did very good, I'm impressed. Back bar, she's gone, skis. I'll be dropping that tailgate later. Oh, I guess that's what it's there for. It's better than that than the panel. So the old banana rear bar, you find them on you find them on headlock merch. They got the old banana bend in them. The old bendy rear bar. Takes two people, tango mate. Matt is through, I'm through, Spud's through. All that's left now is to go pull up to a nice freshwater creek. We're currently hoping there is a lot of water in it so we can sit and chill and it's time for a hydration session. So fingers crossed there's water in it. All right, let's go. I'm fanging for a beer. Someone has just arrived. You may know him as um, Papa P, Papa Slug. This was not a planned encounter. He just showed up. How's it going, boys? What, you coming up or what, or are you just coming to LA? No, I'm coming over. We're ready to fucking go. Here we just thought we're going to go chill in the creek, see, have a few beers. Oh, oh, Papa yeah. Slug rocks up. <laughs> Papa Slug's here to join us, so we're going to guide him up over the hill. And then back to what I was saying, we're going to go sit in the creek, hopefully there's water in it, fingers crossed.
34 degrees. And it's humid as fuck. Uh, he's just kind of winching, he wants to winch the rest of it, so... Yeah. I blew a plugger! I'm good. Oh, not the AFS ones! So yeah, looking at what's here, it's pretty dry. I think we're going to skip our swim and just head on straight to camp. But don't panic, we have a lot of segments ready for you. Let's keep going.